sadly an all too familiar situation. And today the scale of the sexual harassment of young girls and women was back on the agenda. Oi, oi, oi. These university students in Leicester say they've all received unwanted sexual attention from men, especially when they were at school. They changed the uniform from this sort of long shapeless tunic and trousers to a blazer, a cardigan with a blazer on top. And then you had a skirt and trousers underneath. So they were aware that we were being catcalled and we were being judged and we were being looked at. But I think the reaction was, we need to get the girls to cover up more. We used to get catcalled on the street, so we would feel unsafe, especially after school when we would walk home. Go through puberty, your body changes, and then have that like awkward sense of someone watching you while you're walking home, like early hours or late at night. It was a bit um, uncomfortable. A survey of 1,000 young women aged 14 to 21 found 35% said they'd been sexually harassed in public while in their school uniforms, with 13% saying they'd first faced it when they were 12 years old or younger. 8% said a stranger had taken a photo of them without their permission or that someone had taken a photo up their skirt. Perhaps it's not valuing and appreciating what school uniform means, that that's a child, or perhaps there's something about attitudes towards girls, and that's really, really worrying. Why do people think that that's OK? Back in Leicester, that's a question being hotly debated. Sometimes it's not the school uniform, it's just the attitude of people around us. Like your, your first reaction when you hear that someone's been catcalled, it shouldn't be, oh, what were you wearing? It shouldn't be to cover up. It should be, know that that's wrong. And we shouldn't brush away behaviour like, oh, boys will be boys, or men just being men. It needs to be called out, it's wrong. The government's plan to tackle the issue is due later this month. Those behind this campaign want tougher sanctions. Stacey Foster, ITV News Leicester.